Hey, what is up Aquamigos? What is up everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how much you can expect to spend on building a pool pond like the one I have right here. And the reason that I'm making this video is because every now and then I'll get questions from people on where I get things and how much it costs. And in this video, I'll be answering all those questions and it may not actually cost as much as some people think. And I'm making this video in December and believe it or not, this is actually the perfect time to order supplies if you're planning on making a pool pond in the spring or the summer and I'll tell you why in a second and most of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you in this video you can just get from Amazon and I'll have the links for those things down in the description of this video in case you want to look at those yourself but there will be a couple things and I'll let you know what they are that you might be better off just getting at your local Home Depot or whatever local hardware store you have and if you like this video or if this video does help you out I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out so much and if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future I encourage you to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I'm uploading new fish videos and pond videos every Friday and I'll also be throwing in clips from when I was putting this whole thing together so you guys can get an idea for what that process was like and let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is the pool. The pool I have is the Best Way Steel Pro. It holds about 863 gallons. However, I bought this pool over two years ago and now it looks like they call it the Best Way Deluxe Splash. The new Steel Pros that they have are a bit bigger and a bit more expensive, but I'll go ahead and link one of those down in the description as well, in case you want to go that route. Earlier I said that now is the perfect time to order supplies for your pool pond build, and that is because we are in the winter, and the prices of these pools is a lot lower right now. You can get one of these pools on Amazon for $159.99 right now with free shipping. Back in the summer, I remember looking at the prices of these pools and they were closer to $400. And over time, it does look like the price has gone up a little bit because just over two years ago, I was able to get mine for $137.99. And on Amazon, the best way Deluxe Splash states that it does not come with the filter pump and that's okay because you will need a more heavy duty pond pump and filter setup. I got the filter pump with my pool and it was way too small and probably wasn't going to last. Now let's move on to my pond pump. This is the pond pump I have. It's by the brand Active Aqua and it pumps 1,110 gallons per hour. It costs $59.79 and comes with free shipping. Some people say that you want to pump double your pond's water volume per hour. And as you can see, I am a bit under that, but I haven't really had any issues with my water parameters so far. But if you did want to get an additional pump to supplement some of that, you totally could. And as for my pond Pond filter, I have this Tetra Pond waterfall filter, which is good for up to 1,000 gallons. It goes for $80 right now, but I have seen the price of this filter fluctuate to well over $100 when the demand is high. So right now would be a great time to buy it. It comes with a filter pad, fittings for pond tubing, and a filter media bag, which brings us to this next part, which is the kind of biomedia you can get for your filter. I went with lava rocks, and lava rocks are great because they have a lot of surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow. At Home Depot, you can get a big bag of lava rocks for less than $10. And while you're at Home Depot or whatever local hardware store you happen to have near you, you can pick up a few stainless steel hose clamps for around $1.25 each, so you don't get any leaks where you are connecting the pond tubing. And of course, to connect your pond pump to your pond filter, you will need some pond tubing. I bought this Tetra pond tubing, it's 20 feet long and 1 inch in diameter, and it goes for $20 on Amazon. And if you buy it with some of the other things that I mentioned, the shipping will also be free. Next, we are going to talk about UV. There are UV clarifiers and there are UV sterilizers. I used to think that they were the same thing, but apparently they're not. UV clarifiers will help you make your water clear and keep it from turning green by helping you get rid of single-celled floating algae. UV sterilizers, on the other hand, will do the same thing, but they also prevent bacteria and parasite outbreaks. I have a UV clarifier by the brand Jabao. It's a 55 watt UV clarifier, and although it says sterilizer on the Amazon page, I don't think that it is actually a sterilizer, but it does do a pretty good job of keeping my water clear, and right now it goes for $85.98 on Amazon, which is a pretty good deal because when I bought it, 
it was $110. To set it up, I cut my Tetra pond tubing in half to have the water pump through it before hitting the pond filter. If you want a UV sterilizer, you'll have to go with its own pump separate from the main pump because it will require a much slower flow. They are also a little more expensive. In my opinion, those are all the essential things you'll need to get started. The next thing I'm going to talk about is essential as well, but you don't have to go the same exact route as me, because there could be other options out there when it comes to pond netting. If a heron finds out that you have a pond, you better believe he will keep coming back to eat your fish. A heron got one of my arandas once when I didn't have my net over my pond, and it kept coming back all the time after that, but ever since I was always sure to have the net on my pond. What I did is I got some plastic coated wire and put it across my pond and then I went to Joanne's fabric and I got some polyester cargo netting and put that over my pool pond and the wire going across the pond would hold up the netting and I also have the netting clamped down around the edges of the pond. I found some pretty good sturdy clamps on Amazon, I'll go ahead and link those down in the description below as well. But again for the netting, there are a bunch of options out there. You don't have to go the same exact route as me, but that's just what I did. One thing that I did find out though, is that I think because my netting was too fine, bees couldn't get through the netting to pollinate my water lilies, and I actually didn't get any flowers on my water lilies this past season. I'm not 100% sure if that's the reason why, but that's just kind of my theory right now. Now, a non-essential thing that you can get for your pool pond is gravel or rocks for the bottom. I bought River Pebble for mine. I paid just under $5 a bag at a local garden store that was going out of business. I bought seven bags in total, and each bag was five cubic feet. They aren't necessary, but will definitely improve the look and even create more surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow on. The next thing is pond plants. I bought some water lilies from a local pond shop, and I believe I paid around $35 for them. But again, there are a bunch of options out there. You can even buy water lily tubers from Amazon and plant them yourself. I've also personally ordered water hyacinth and water lettuce from Amazon. Another non-essential are plastic containers. I have a plastic container in my pond that I cut openings in to create hiding places for my fish. I bought mine at Target for around $5, but you can get whatever you want. Just make sure that it's BPA free, usually recycle number 2 or number 5 is good. I also have another plastic container with openings cut into it to keep my pond pump off the ground. I also have a heron decoy to add some additional defense against herons, but the netting probably does most of the work. And last but not least, fish. There are many different pond fish you can get, 20 cent common goldfish are a great pond fish. Keep in mind though, if you do get koi, you will need to have a plan for when the koi gets bigger. If you get a pool pond like mine that holds 863 gallons and is 26 inches tall, that won't be big enough for an adult koi. An adult koi will need at least 1000 gallons and at least 3 feet of depth. And of course, don't forget some mosquito fish or minnows so you don't get mosquito larvae in your pond. So there it is guys, you guys could build a pool pond setup just like mine with the essentials for around $406. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this, I appreciate it. And once again, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, I'm uploading new pond videos, new fish videos every Friday. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, you definitely want to subscribe and just really quick I have a shout out for Joel Shaw. Thank you so much for being an Aquamigo. If any of you guys would like a shout out in one of my upcoming videos all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment I am an Aquamigo. I will shout you out in my next fish video. So thanks a lot guys I'll talk to you later. Peace.